Okay, this is part two of my piston memory tape tutorial. Uh, this has some additional uh, information that you might find uh, helpful. It was stuff I was unaware of at the first uh, when I did my first video. Um, so I've built these two demonstration rigs, and they're identical almost at the moment. Um, they've got the same nine blocks in there. You can see. The only difference is this clock here. This clock is wired. Um, to go counterclockwise, and this clock will go clockwise. You can see if you see them next to each other, you can see that they're sort of mirror image of each other. And uh, so the associated pistons will also fire in the opposite order. Now the tape, both tapes will still um, spin in the same direction, um, but with slightly different uh, behaviors, as I'll show you right here. Let me turn these on. Okay. So you can see this one um, has a pretty quick uh, rotation. This one's going much slower um, because it, it, it because it's firing in the reverse. It, the pistons are going in the reverse order to this one. Um, it has to go all the way around to get to the one that it needs to to fire it. Um, so this one's actually moving much slower. Now, with this one, if I try to add um, an additional block, it just pushes it out. Um, every time the piston fires, it's every time any piston fires on this one, it's pushing a block. Um, there's no room to add additional blocks. But this one, you can see there are it, every piston fires once um, on an empty space. So. Um, if you know when it's going to have an empty space, you can toss in another block. So this one now has 10 blocks. And I can do it again. Oh, not right now. Um, so now that one's got 11 blocks. Okay, so the, I mean, this one will follow the same pattern as my last um, video did. So let me just get rid of two of these blocks. Um, uh, another thing um, in regards to speeding it up, um, if I set, um, if I cross-link these like my previous video, um, even though it won't let me add additional blocks at the moment, um, if I cross-link it, it will, um, and that uh, will affect the the timing of that tape um, similarly to. Uh, the previous video. Um, but another thing I came across was it's possible to stick a second block in here and it, it, it has the same behavior as if I cross-linked uh, the two to the opposite corners. Um, you just have to get it in like that. And then you can see that it, it each corner, the opposite corners are firing at the same time. So it's twice as fast. Um, you can now see that, it, that it's firing on some empty spaces, which you can, if you're quick enough, and I was, um, you can stick in more blocks. Uh, at least one more, it looks like. I don't, yeah, I guess that's all you can stick in on that one. So this will let you add one extra block. Um, one downside of doing it this way as opposed to actually physically cross-linking the wires is um, you can't easily turn it off and on. If you try to turn it off, it will break the clock. I'll show you right here. So when I turn it off, it pushes out that space right there, um, which actually got rid of a, there it is, um, a repeater. And of course it kicked out that extra block that you needed so that if you turn it back on again, you have to, uh, oh, that's not the block, it's that block. Um, if you turn it back on again, you've got to uh, stick this block back in. So, and it, when I turned it off, it also booted out that extra block. See, so that it's much less stable um, using multiple blocks in the clock, but it is possible. Um, okay, well, I hope that was 
a little bit more informative and uh, happy building.